There's actually no saga with the minister renting Karara house in Karara Road. Ah. Watch this to the end, ah, and then you will agree. Yeah, so actually don't need to wait for July Parliament, ah, Nabe. Here are the facts right, about renting Karara house in Singapore. Ah. I'll simplify for you. Don't the CC if you don't understand my answers, you idiot. So, so, ah, so, what are Karara houses? Eh? I've already done a video right, to summarize it. Ah. But let me do a recap for idiots right, who are not subscribed to my channel. Basically, ah, those brand and white houses ah, are built in the early 19s ah, from the British. Ah, Cause last time we British land. Ma. Yeah, so after they left, ah, the houses remain there. Ah, Cause Singapore wants to preserve history. Ma, so they kept those houses there. Ah. In Singapore, I ah, got about 500 of these houses. Some are rented as eatery because it's like eating in the past. Ma. Some rent out for commercial use. And some are rented out for residential use. Any individual or business ah, can rent from the government. Ah, and rental prices are based on open bidding system. Because ah. anything related to the government ah, is always open bidding and very transparent one. Now remember the previous night, because ah, you'll be very important later. So, unlike renting a HDB room in an issue HDB flat, ah, but you go to property guru, ah, contact the agent, ah, have a viewing, ah, and then pay the rent. Ah. Renting a Prarara house ah, is very different one. You go to the SLA website, ah, and then ah, you log in with SimPass. You'll be able to see a list of available residential ah, for rent. Usually not a lot available, because ah, last I checked, ah, only 12 houses available. And unlike property guru, ah, whereby there's an asking price for the property, ah, there isn't any for Prarara houses. Instead, ah, you have to bid for it. Ah, eh. However, ah, it's the same when you're renting it. Ah. You have to contact the agent ah, for a view. The agent is basically a property agent. Ah. Sometimes ah, the agent will also contact an open house ah, for all to see at one go. But here's the difference. Ah. Unlike renting a room ah, in the issue HDB, ah, you also need to be a little for it one. Eh. And that ah, is clearly shown in the bidding form. For individuals, ah, their money income ah, must be at least three times the bid price. Or the bidder ah, must be of sound financial sense. Yeah, this means ah, the acquisition ah, that the regular houses ah, are rented out at over $1.6 billion ah, is debunked. Ah, ah. Unless our minister made $4.8 million a year. Ah. No, like, even the prime minister didn't earn that much. Ah. There are other criteria. Ah, like cannot be a bankrupt. Ah, cannot be below 21 years old. Ah, cannot be insane. Ah, but I didn't say yeah, cannot be a public uh, wait, wait, wait. cannot be insane now here's the thing, uh, here's the thing. Because this is a government, uh, all bids and winning bids uh, are transparent and published too. For privacy's sake, uh, the names are not revealed, uh, but the prices are. For example, uh, for this house, uh, bidding just ended early this month. It shows seven bidders, with the lowest bidder uh, at $8,030 and the highest bidder uh, at $25,000. So the $25,000 won. Uh. However, uh, you can only retrieve the last six months' results, so you cannot get the rental rates uh, for the minister's house. But it was openly reviewed before. Uh. By now, uh, you should get the idea. Uh. Everything is always very transparent uh, when it comes to working with the government. Because if you have worked with them before, uh, you confirm know that one. Uh. The punishment uh, for buying a copy for a friend who works in the public sector uh, is almost as serious uh, as punching your friend uh, in the face. Because uh. Singapore uh, is not just tough on corruption, you know. Our middle name uh, is anti corruption. Eh. So, in other words, uh, what kind of saga are we talking about where everything is open for us to see? The only saga that I can see uh, is that the ministers uh, might have a special SIM pass uh, called SIM Pass Plus that can help them a bit better. Uh. <laughs> then they can also use a SIM Pass Plus uh, to be for cheaper COEs. Uh, be for <laughs> Now, if everything is so open and transparent, uh, what facts are angry people asking for? Actually, I also don't know, uh, but thankfully, uh, they never ask for the COE price uh, that each minister before. If not, uh, parliament uh, will be 24-7. Uh, yeah. But, 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 uh, why I need to review and also review all the facts in July parliament sitting? Eh? I think uh, I think only don't perform me. Uh, I think only, okay, my name isn't Gamala, so we are right this way, but I think only, uh, I think only. I think the views for the live stream of parliament too low, uh, so they need more people uh, to watch and talk. In the meantime, if you think you have learned something, consider subscribing and also watch this video about the saga in your issue HDB rental room user.